In this example, we are going to find the particular solution of a differential equation dy dx plus tangent xy equals to cos squared x. When x is 0, the value of y is equal to 2. This is a differential equation in the form of dy dx plus py equals to q, where p is tangent x. From there, we can find integrating factor v equals to e raised to power p, where p is tangent x, with respect to dx. Now, let us recall back how to integrate tangent x. First of all, write tangent x in the ratio of sine x cos x. Now, we can let u as cos x differentiate cos x is equal to negative sine x. By using the substitution technique, we substitute cos x as u, while sine x dx as negative du is equal to negative ln u. Therefore, we have e raised to power negative ln u, where u is cos x. Then move this negative to the top. We have e ln cos x power negative 1. One of the important properties of indexes, e raised to the power ln fx is equal to fx itself. Therefore, e raised to the power ln cos x negative 1 is equal to cos x negative power negative 1. This equals to 1 divided by cos x. Next, times integrating factor throughout the given differential equation. So we have 1 over cos x times with dy dx plus tangent x y divided by integrating factor 1 cos 1 over cos x equals to cos squared x times with 1 over cos x is equal to cos x. Then write the left hand side in the form of d dx vy. So d dx y v is 1 over cos x equals to cos x. Then solving this by integrate both sides. For left hand side, we have y divided by cos x equals to integrate cos x is positive sine x plus a constant c. Now, we are going to find the value of constant c. When x is 0, y is equal to 2. Substitute y as 2 and x as 0. We have sine 0 plus c cos 0. Substitute x as 0. Where sine 0 is 0, cos 0 is equal to 1. Therefore, c is equal to 2. Finally, we express y as subject on left hand side. So y is equal to times both sides with cos x. We have cos x times sine x plus 2.